In this video, I'm going to show you how to get an amazing legendary item, the most powerful sword for your fighter, Lazel, in the game, in Act 1, as early as Level 3. Subscribe to the Linus Wilson channel. We give you the secrets to crush Baldur's Gate 3. So this is an exploit that allows you to steal the silver sword of the Astral Plane, a Act 3 weapon that you're supposed to get in Act 3, and you're, you can get it in Act 1. We're going to do this by getting Disarming Attacks, which you get at Level 3 of a Fighter. So if you have a Fighter and you choose Battle Master, under their feats, they can get Disarming Attacks. And that means Disarming Melee and Disarming Ranged Attacks. Now, there are two ways you can do this. You can do this with Lazelle, or you can do this with a new fighter which you get from withers so you get withers if you go through the chapel which is basically the first thing you see when you get out of the prologue you see the chapel and it's locked door it's hard to miss so you probably found the chapel before you found the emerald grove and when you unlock withers he can create new companions and resurrect old ones if you create a new one uh, and you're level three, that can be a level three fighter. And this fighter can go it alone and steal the the sword from Kithrith Voss, who's who's at the Mountain Pass. So the Mountain Pass, there's actually two entrances to the Mountain Pass, but the one that we're concerned with that has the Gift Patrol is marked on the map as Mountain Pass in the northwest corner of the Act One, the regular Act One map. So it's north of the Goblin Camp, but it's actually closest to Waukegan Rest Fast Travel. So you want to go north of the Blighted Village until you find Waukegan's Rest, and then keep on going east, and you're going to find this barrier with the Mountain Pass. You do not want to enter the barrier and engage them, but what you want to do is you want to take a sink, if you're, if you're weak, say level 3, you're not outfitted really well, then create that new fighter and so the standard fighter that they have with withers it is called varuna sun blossom so if she's level three and you have the disarming attack or higher she's level three but you chose the level three feet of disarming a attack then give her a few potions of invisibility and before she gets to the gate take an invisibility potion get in hide mode because you're quieter go right next to Kithrith Voss and then you need to save hit him with a melee attack a disarming melee attack if you have the oil of accuracy that's going to make it more likely that you're going to hit this and you should be able to disarm him it only took me three times to disarm him you don't care about the the what he says in the cutscene you're just going to go to the attack so once you hit the disarming attack he's going to go to the cutscene doesn't matter what happens in the cutscene you're going to get to the attack mode and you just want to pick up his weapon before Verona dies. So if Verona dies all by herself, which she will if you're level 3, you can pick it up between your turns. So you don't have to wait for your turn. You can pick it up between your turn. And as long as it's in her inventory, then when she's dead, switch to your other characters, which are back at camp, and they can resurrect her, and she can hand the sword over to Lazelle, which does 10 to 25 damage is most times it's dropped although i've seen it drop at 11 to 26 so there is some saves coming here because you if you have an attack which is unsuccessful and doesn't get him to drop his sword then you want to reload your save right because you're not going to get another chance with this that's the method with a non-lazelle fighter you can also do this with lazelle if she has that level three feet so you may have to respec her skills if you don't have that but she cannot be within range of, or she cannot be within melee range or close to Kithrith Voss, the guy with 125 hit points. She has to shoot him with a disarming ranged attack from a raised platform. So we're doing this on the the raised, the lower raised platform of the fort that they're at, uh, at the Mountain Pass area. All our party, in this case, we could have done it like just her and one other person, but we're actually pretty strong here we're level six characters we can destroy the patrol no problem even if Voss stays around we could get him but he never stays around he always leaves 
So you do the disarming attack while you guys are all set up. You've got guys on Ray, all three of them on Ray's platforms, including Lazelle, who's going to do the disarming attack. And then you have a, a fourth companion who's right next to Kithrith Voss to pick it up and put it in her inventory. In this case, it's Shadowheart is there to pick it up. But any of those non-Lazelle characters could do this. Now, if you have Lazelle right next to him, it's going to go to a cutscene, and he's going to escape in a cutscene, and it'll never work. It also, her disarming attacks will never work. So they have they have made it so it's impossible for Lazelle to do a melee disarming attack on him because i tried it 20 times and she should have had a 75 uh, 75 success rate so the odds of that that happening and it failing 20 times is like a million to one so you have to do it if you're doing it with lizelle do have her do a ranged attack and be her be have her out of talking range Otherwise, he'll escape in a cutscene with his sword. Now, this sword, it depending on your choices in Act 3, will be given to you by Kithrith Voss. I don't know what the consequences of that are because I haven't got to Act 3. But I have tested all the consequences of stealing the sword in Act 1 for him from him and it's not going to affect it so and i suspect if you get to act three it's also not going to affect the story you might get the sword a second time if you do it in act one it's not going to affect how you're received at the gif yankee crash that is so if you do the mountain pass mission and you go to the gith yankee crash they're not going to be upset at you because you attack the patrol right and just the backstory why that probably is is because voss is kind of like an independent operator so it's not going to affect how the gith yankee deal with you and i also suspect he's fairly forgiving and and if you steal a sword from him or if you've attacked him before it doesn't matter because in act one he doesn't care that you attacked him he's not mad at you now if you don't steal this sword from him before you get to the githyanki crash then you cannot get it so he will visit you after the you visit the githyanki crash if you go through the mountain pass so if you go back if you if you've gone done the githyanki crash and you got that fast travel in the mountain pass and then you go to the mountain pass area say you missed it like i did the first time i played it then you will get visited by kithrith voss and you have the option to attack and kill him don't recommend that but if you do he will have a different sword it'll be voss's silver sword and it's not as good it's not worth attacking him for there are better swords in act one or better two-handed weapons in act one see my video about the underdark weapons there's also a better weapon that you will almost certainly have gotten from the gith yankee captain at the crash right at their at their base so if you if he visits you in camp attacking him or disarming him will not get you this sword so you need to get this sword before you visit the githyanki crash if you're going to get it in act one so this is the other thing i think that maybe some misinformation i've seen on other videos is they say that the patrol follows you around and chases at you and finds you that's only if you have people at the fort right so if you send just one of your hirelings varuna there and she gets killed and there's nobody else around they're not gonna go after you so i i don't think that's any problem but there's also no penalty for killing the whole githyanki patrol right like i say they're kind of independent operators so it's not going to matter. And I would recommend doing that. I would recommend doing it with Lazelle if you're relatively high level. I would say if you're at least level 4, but better if you're level 5 and you're well outfitted. That you ought to be able to take out the patrol, no problem. Especially since you've got the high ground, you're ready to go. You've got your, your weapons all oiled up. you got your spells ready. You know the spells you want to do. You've loaded up on potions and spells before that. You should wipe them out if you're playing on you know story or if you're playing on balanced and maybe even tactician but definitely if on balanced or easier you should wipe them out if you're a level five group i want to thank uh orange soda and mr bg uh for showing me this exploit and you can see those in my 
other videos including my unlimited money glitch and double XP glitch videos in the description. Subscribe to the Linus Wilson channel. We give you the secrets to crush Baldur's Gate 3. Let me know your experiences trying to get the Silver Sword of the Astral Plane. Good luck, adventurers.